What's up guys, it's Crowbar and today we got more Minnesota Twins franchise here on MLB 14 to show and you can see that the Twins have been struggling a lot lately and now they are in a three-way tie for the AL Central 71 and 70 so we're going to be going into an AL Central matchup against the Chicago White Sox and this game would be pretty huge for us as we need to stay in first place and that's not the only reason I chose this game. The White Sox are 20 games below 500. The main reason I chose this game is the MLB debut of Miguel Sano. And I know a lot of you guys have been excited for that one. That's one you guys have been waiting for for a long time, actually. As you can see, he will be in the lineup making his first appearance, batting uh, sixth and playing DH. So you can take a look at our starting lineup right there. Hopefully, Sano can be productive. Byron Buxton, as you guys know, has been off for quite some time, hitting 266. As on his MLB debut, we will be facing Jose Quintana, who I think is a really underrated pitcher on the White Sox. He's very good, young, and I think he'll be a solid number two, maybe number three for them, depending on how Carlos Rondon does for them. Six and ten record in the game. Leadoff hitter is Byron Buxton, of course, is in the top of the first inning. First pitch, he'll be first pitch swinging, hit this one at center field. As now the center fielder is going to have trouble. This one is he's going to throw past second base, and Buxton going to take advantage of that. The throw to second is not in time, and Buxton is in with a leadoff single and then advances on the air. As we move on, Oswaldo RC up later in the inning, runners on the corners. RC going to take this breaking ball short onto second for one, onto first two, but the run will score, so RC gets the RBI and gives the Twins a 1 to nothing lead in the first inning. As we move on to the bomb of the first inning, you can take a look at the White Sox lineup. Uh, you know, not too great, and that pretty much explains why they are below 500, well below 500 as a matter of fact. As on the mound, the guy that we acquired last year in the uh, midseason, Blake Bevan, 11-9 with 3.97 ERA. Solid pitcher, one of the things I like about him is that he does not walk a lot of batters, he's got very good control. But you know, he's not a great strikeout pitcher, but still, uh, he's a solid pitcher, and he's solid for the back end of the rotation. As J.D. Martin is up with an 0-2 count, one away, and he's in the ground. This one softly to short. Danny Santana onto Dozier. Dozier on the first double play. That's going to get the Twinkies out of the inning as no runs will be allowed for the uh, Twins. As now Miguel Sano, first major league at bat, top of the second, 1-1 one, one count, one away. And he will single right up the middle for a base hit as now Sano, first hit hopefully of many as he is standing on first base. A huge moment for him. As you're going to see, they will end up taking that ball into the dugout in just a second. I believe it's Joe Maurer that will retrieve it. As, yeah, you can see right here, going to give the ball into the dugout. And there's Maurer taking the ball. So that's a special moment for Miguel Sano. As, like I said, hopefully more to come from him. As we're going to move on now. Still top of the second inning, one away. Derek McCarty is up, and McCarty's going to ground this one to short. On to second for one. On to first, a double play. And that is going to get the White Sox out of the inning. Still one nothing. As Jose Abreu is up, and Abreu will end up looking on that slider. Abreu, very underrated in this game. I think he should be a little bit better. He's a very good player in real life. As Gordon Beckham now up, one away, bottom of the third inning, the pitch from Bevan. And this one is hit deep to right field. Back goes Arcia. He looks up, and it is gone. That is going to be a home run for Gordon Beckham. That's going to tie the game at one as a huge hit by him. Beckham going to go opposite field, and... Bevan will sur surrender his first run of the game as that's going to be a big hit for Beckham. Someone that you really don't see too many home runs for. As Wilson Bennett made up, he is going to end up striking out as he's going to look at that four-seamer. So Bevan gets out of the inning for the most part unharmed. But top of the fifth, Miguel Sano up with the 0-2 count. Comes a pitch from Quintana and Sano is going to unload on this one high and deep and gone. So Miguel Sano, like Byron Buxton this season, hit his first major league hit, then his first major league home run in the same game, as that's going to be pretty crazy. So Sano, uh, hopefully we can see more of him as I'm projecting him to be maybe like a four hitter during the prime of his career when he can hit a lot of home runs for us. Josh Pegley up, see you later as Pegley's going to go down swinging. Bevin getting a lot of strikeouts this game, more than usual. As we move to the top of the sixth inning, one do count to Oswaldo Arcia. And Arcia, just overmatching that one, going to be completely early, and he's going to completely reach for that curveball as that's going to end the inning. Brian Dozier now up in the top of seven. Let me fast forward. 0-1 count. Here comes the pitch, and Dozier will take a deep drive to left field. This one's going towards the bullpen, high, deep, and gone. So Brian Dozier will homer now as Dozier having 
Not the best of seasons as he will end up homering. And that will be the end of the day for Jose Quintana, who gives up two home runs and gives up three runs in the day. Not the worst game, but, you know, his team really didn't give him too many offense. So he is in line for the loss now, should the uh, lead stand for the Twins. As we are going to move on, and Josh Pegley, he's going to end up striking out as he really had no chance of that one. And now next up is Alejandro Diaz, a bomb in the 8th inning, 1-2 count. See you later, so Bevin just doing a great job as he's going to end up going 8 innings. As we're going to move on to the ninth inning, Glenn Perkins coming onto the game, making his 48th appearance of the season. He has 36 saves in a th- round of 3 ERA as Jose Abreu with 2 away. He's going to end up popping this one softly to Danny Santana. Santana moves under it, and the Twinkies are going to take the win. Miguel Sano with a great MLB debut. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like, leave some comments, and if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. But once again, the final score is the Twinkies 3 and the White Sox 1. I'm Crowbar. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.